What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Michigan Farms is the map we're on and if you guys saw the live stream this past Saturday, you saw three hours of me getting fields bought, the property here bought, we uh, plan to do some logging which I will be working on a little bit today. Uh, right now what we're going to do is head over to another field and go ahead and get that planted. The hired help was working on cultivating. Uh, let's see, what field was that? So we own field six and eight. So the hired help was cultivating, or not cultivating, actually plowing field eight for me. Uh, so we're gonna plant soybean over on six and get go from there. So let me jump in the challenger here. Make sure we got soybean selected. There we go. For those who might have missed the live stream, uh, it was it was done just a couple days ago. Uh, did it on Saturday, and I made the video public on Sunday. So hopefully, I can remember to do one of those little pop-ups on the on the screen right now. That way, you guys can go ahead and just click it and open up a new window. But um, otherwise, just wait until the end of the video when the uh, what to watch next comes up, and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Let's get this. Now, with the fields, some of them are pretty tight. So we got trees right along the edge down there. That The other side goes right up next to those foam poles over there. So it's usually a good idea to go ahead and just go along the edge once or twice. That way, hired help doesn't have so much of a fit. I mean, hired help in the game is already borked in the first place. Now, also, if you guys look in the upper left-hand corner, it's not Glance, but it's something like it. Uh, the Vehicle Inspector mod is what I have and what we have on the server. So you guys can go ahead and download that and check that out. It's actually pretty nice. You can see it, the speed isn't working, which is no big deal to me, really. Um, but you can see the vehicle is leased. You can see who's driving it. And right now, it's only configured to work as far as multiplayer goes, it's only configured to work with the farm that you're, you are a part of. It's not going to show everyone on the server. Single player obviously doesn't matter, but if you guys have it on the server, you might have to go into the files and reconfigure the file a little bit to show everyone if you guys want to see that vantage point. Just decided to hire a, hire a worker to go down the side here because he can keep it straighter than I can. But then I'll fire him when we get down here. Then I'll do two two cuts or two paths up and down on the end here. Then I can go ahead and do hired hired help again. Eventually, I might get rid of these trees here, splitting these two fields, and merge them together. Lower that down. It's already on, so there we go. I have no idea why it was planting there, though, because it was lifted up. That's weird. Now, these guys over at Taylor Farms, <clears throat> they have more stuff coming out soon, so make sure you go down in the description, click on that link for their page, and like their page, and... Uh, also hit the like, well, uh, hit the play game button that's there, 
and that will take you to the website that is hosting all of their mods. They have everything in different categories, placeables, and uh, things like that. So they're working on a kind of like a disc plow. So it'll be much bigger than what we have right there behind that guy, the subsoiler. It'll be a cultivator, but it'll be uh, it'll actually plow the field. Much like you saw me use over on Farm Sim 17. Uh, and then they also have a regular cultivator. Uh, the the Flexi Coil, I think it is. You guys might have seen it on mod sites already. I don't know who exactly released it. But uh, that should be here as well. They're just I think they're converting it over from 17 right now. And they're just trying to work out a couple of bugs. I guess it works good. But from what I was told, it likes to wander around when it's not hooked up to a tractor. So, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a small problem when, when your equipment doesn't stay where you left it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a small issue right there. So, they're working on that. So, we will have a couple more items from them coming up here. Looking forward to that. And away he goes. Excellent. Alright, how about some logging a little bit here? We already took on one tree, but I couldn't really do too much because the crop was here. So now that it's gone, let's turn this baby on. Uh, yep, we're still at six, good. Now, I'm going to cut down a few trees here, and I want to show you the stole log fork that... Okay, is a little cheaty. I'll, I'll give you that one, but it's probably the best thing out there, to be quite honest. Um, we had issues. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm dragging it. That's why. Uh, we had issues uh, on the multiplayer for Thursday's stream. Not Thursday, Friday's. Yeah, it was Thursday's live stream. Might have been Friday's. Either way, uh, you know. Logging with the crane is still a pain in the ass. Um, you know, maybe it's the trees as well. I don't know. I didn't try it here in single player because usually crane equipment really don't glitch out in single player. It's usually just multiplayer. Uh, there's like a desync issue. Uh, so oh, I'm turning the wrong way again. Not good. Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. But what I have set up here is a front loader, and I've got the sole log fork, and so we're going to be doing that. It doesn't grab onto the logs like the extendable log fork. I'm really looking forward to having that one in the game again. I uh, don't know if anyone's working on it, but hopefully someone is, and I look forward to having that back. I can't wait to make its way back into the game because that was an excellent log fork very good you know not a hundred percent but still being able to extend that fork out like that to grab the logs was just great and the thing was it held on to them as long as you didn't load up like too many logs because then yeah they would glitch out but maybe that'll be fixed i don't know but uh really looking forward to that and but for now, we've got the stole one, and so we're going to be giving that one a try here. Come on. They're fine to it. There we go. I also have the IT runner here as well. And I'm going to be using that as the the trailer transport instead of the in-game trailer. Uh, to my knowledge, no other log trailers have been made. Well, I did see one. It was a triple log trailer setup, but uh, 
I don't think the side, I don't know what, fork uh, positioning was the way I like it. Plus, I didn't want to do a triple trailer. Uh, some people like doing those road train things. I don't. I'm not really a fan of it, so. Uh, this one's not going to be turned the way I want it to. So let's have to put it right there. Start a new pile. Now, I found 6 meter works just perfect. So, obviously, that's what we're going with here. Come on, get in there. One other thing that's going to be changing here eventually is I'm going to be using the Google Docs for the mods list instead of the server mods list. Uh, that way it allows me to not only put a Facebook page up if there is one, but also link the original download link for the modder. That is one thing a lot of modders don't like is when someone puts up a different link. Now, generally it's usually someone else taking it and putting it up on their own share mods link when they put it to a website. I don't do that here, uh, it's just, it takes it to our giant server page. So, you know, we're not making any extra money off a download or whatever. You know, and, and some modders don't really mind, they're fine with that. <clears throat> you know, it's a trusted site, you know, you're not going to get adware or anything like that. Uh, someone like myself is not making any money off of it, because that's, that's the main gripe a lot of them have. Now, everyone's got their own opinion about it, but usually all of them do agree they want people to keep the original link. And unfortunately, that's not what happens when I use, when I just link you guys to the server mods. So I'll be using Google Docs, and I will be uh, putting the original link in the doc. So it'll be share mods or mega.nz or whatever, you know, wherever I got that mod from, wherever it downloaded from. That way, it stays right there. But some of you guys that download everything won't like that because, well, yeah, if you're not careful on what you click on, you will get pop-ups or you will get, you know, the wrong stuff. So you gotta pay attention when you download. But uh, I think this way is probably a little, little easier, a little better, uh, because also with the single player, I don't have all the mods um, on the on the multiplayer. So there are some mods I use here that are not on that multiplayer, so... I will try to keep that separated, so the bulk of it will be, you know, what you see both here and on multiplayer. And then there will be, uh, you know, maybe at the top or at the bottom somewhere, you know, single player only use or whatever that, you know, has it because I don't want to overload the multiplayer. You know, I'll add extra mods here because I want to try them out or whatever, and then I just get forgetful and they're still here. I'm not really limited on space, but on the server we are. We're so used to playing on PV-17, someone's already made a comment, it feels weird cutting down trees without having to get a contract. Now the one thing here is you have to own the land. You just can't go wherever you want to go cut down trees. You have to buy the land. You can't even cut grass. <laughs> you can't even cut grass without it. Alright, so there's the trailer over there. I don't have anything. Let's get in that John Deere because he's not quite done. Yeah, you still got a little bit of work to do there, homie. Let's bring you back a little bit. tell you what, the house doesn't really feel like Christmas around here for me. 
usually for as long as I can remember we've always cut down our tree we've always gone to a tree farm and cut it down before that we used to go to like the local um, craft store or whatever uh, for us oh I can't remember I think it was like Frank's when I was growing up Frank's home nursery for those of you in the suburbs I, I don't know if they were nationwide or regional or whatever but I think that was uh, some of you might have heard that name before but we went and just picked it out from there and then we decided hey let's go cut them down that would be a little better because we were tired of trees dying within a couple of weeks so let's go get a fresh cut and hopefully that avoids that situation so you know we've been cutting down trees for as long as I can remember and this is actually the first year I decided okay let's just do a fake one the first year I have allowed a fake tree even the wife was expecting uh, when are we going to go cut it down and I was like hey I don't care I mean, it's just you and me so if we want to just do a fake one and make it easy okay we'll just do that so but we don't there's no smell of pine that's the thing I don't smell pine and it, it's, a, it's a little weird it's a little weird uh, let's put all right you know what I know I'm gonna get yelled at they yell at me on the stream all the time because I don't do it let's go right here uh, do I want miscellaneous no I don't think I want miscellaneous no. Oh, what's it under? It's not under placeables, is it? Yes, it is. There it is. I don't have enough money. What? Oh, I'm negative. Oh, wow. All right, then. I am not going to be washing anything. I didn't even notice that. The hired help killed it. So that means I really need to get some of these logs down to the down to the sawmill here. That's more than enough for one trailer. Let's go ahead and drop it right here. This thing is already high up as it is, but it's on a trailer, and the, you know, the log spikes there or whatever, the sides are pretty high as well. So, I think doing that is probably a better... makes it easier for this guy. So the log fork here is paintable. You can do whatever color you want. The forks actually do grab, but since they're not really extendable and there isn't a whole lot of pivot here, there isn't a whole lot of tilt with this thing. You can't really get, you know, you can't you can't really turn it all the way down and then, you know, clamp down on them from the top. So you kind of got to scoop under them. The problem is they don't. It doesn't really scoop under them very well. So I'm going to show you guys the straps. Well, I'll demonstrate. Let's see. There we go. Just bring it up just a little bit so the front tires are not up in the air. Now, if you got something to get, you know, pinch it, then yeah, it'll work just great. A, a stump, another tree. I just grabbed three, three logs there. Not bad. Works out pretty good.
that's the only problem right there since you don't really get the pivot down you kind of have to work them out coax them fall out that's the only problem right there but here's the other option that you guys have Let me see if I can get under him. Ramming speed. Hit L. The straps. Use the straps to hold them all down. Then you don't have to worry about closing the force, and you can grab a whole lot more as long as your loader can handle it. And then once you get him in position, I can't lift any higher now. There we go. Hit L again, and a lot of them just fall right out like that. There we go. Let me fix this guy here. This one we can pick up, surprisingly. There we go. I need to push you back in. Back that ass up. Yeah, of course you would want to get stuck on a fork, wouldn't you? Oh, there we go. Turn it a little bit, and that takes care of it. It's sticking out a little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. All logs picked up. Not exactly the prettiest arrangement in there, but that'll do. I can pick up that little one, I don't care about that. I, the only thing I wish is that the straps would actually pull them in, or there was an option to ratchet the straps in. Because then it would be a little easier to drop them all off. I don't think you can, even if I run it into something, right? Nope. The straps are there, the straps are there. This guy in there. Come on, where is it? There it is. Hey! You're going whether you like it or not. Apparently you can't let go when you jump anymore or something. Hey, you son of a bitch, get in there. I don't have to do. All right. Am I selected on it? Nope. Now I am. We're down. Bring it back in. And away we go. As long as we don't fall in the ditch. Oh, that got a little close. Get over that stump. Nope, it won't. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm in trouble here or not. Oh, it's getting stuck on that. That stump is really causing me headaches right now. There. Oh, come on. 
Yes, there we go, power. This thing can tip over if you're going too fast, so obviously you want it to get easy. I got it up on two wheels last week. Now, I'm reading some comments here over on the Taylor Farms Facebook page and or their group. There is an update coming. As I'm recording this, it is not released yet. And speculation is that a map, a new start is going to have to happen. Uh, he's made some changes to the map. The asphalt here, I guess, is not going to be as shiny. He dulled that down. Um, I thought they were just kind of like, okay, well, this is fresh, brand new asphalt compared to this. And, you know, when they come out with version 2, they were just going to weather it. Um, but that's not the case, I guess. So... Uh, you can, if you guys are already playing this, go into your save game, get your vehicle's XML, or your vehicle XML file, and then take that out, put in the, you know, and then start up the new one with the new map, and then go ahead and put that in there. And then you have all your vehicles. But, you know, if you guys are just starting out, no big deal, right? It's probably to be the same sediment here for me as well. No big deal. I know not everyone thinks of it that way. Not everyone sees it that way. But uh, for those who also didn't see the live stream, the map is fairly level, fairly flat. There are some areas that have some undulation that they were testing out. Uh, and so the next version, version 2, will not be flat. So they're just trying to get some natural looking terrain going here. And I'll show you those fields here in a minute. So let's see, what do we get from this? $26,000. That works for me. Oh, wait. We're not empty yet. Let me select the trailer. We had that happen on, uh, on Twitch, too. Couldn't offload everything because the straps were holding on to, like, five more pieces of wood. And there we go. Lumber pays pretty nice. <clears throat> we'll drop this one right here that way both these piles can get loaded in oh, I don't need to do that I can just leave it parked right in front of it I'm not going to be planting this field right away. 
Now that I got some cash, let's go shopping again and actually go and get that sprayer. Let's wash some equipment. I turned off the traffic as well because they're just slow as hell. So here's some of the undulation I was talking about here. Let's drive over here real quick. See, this looks a little normal to me. A little high, but a little normal. But that field over here, I mentioned to Dave's. Especially the next field over. Because this doesn't look too bad. But the idea they're going for, especially on a field like this one over here, see the, the little dips and whatnot, and I'm not going to drive down the ditch, I'll probably not make it out. But, you know, I, I said, oh, so you're trying to go for the natural runoff that you see in fields, so maybe you'll put grass down through the center of it or something. Or leave it as is, because it goes both ways. But I also said that looks like it's pretty steep. I don't know if a header is going to get there, there if you got a 45 foot. He says it will. He says it will. Um, but I've already seen posts where people saying, no, it doesn't. It gets hung up or whatever. So eventually some smoothing is going to happen, but we will have natural, you know, rolling features, rolling hills like that. We're not going to have, like, huge mounds or whatnot, but we're going to have some rolling hills here and there, and... I imagine some of the roads will be raised or lowered to kind of go along with that. It's not just going to be in the fields, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, they're they're happy with this. And it's error-free. We, we threw it up on the server. No errors, no issues. So, you guys have that to look forward to. It's It all comes down to what equipment you have, then. But, uh, version 2, yeah. Look forward to that one, guys. There will be some cosmetic changes to the natural scenery of things. I, I mean, I think for the most part, you know, it should stay pretty flat. In my opinion, this is my two cents. I mean, not like flat like this, but, you know, where it goes up a few feet, down a few feet, whatever. You know, we don't need, you know, huge mountains and things like that, but, uh, you know, you, you drive down anywhere in the country, and yeah, you're going to see valleys and, you know creek beds and things like that so I, I imagine that's coming and these guys will do their thing to make that happen all right so let's get this turned around oh it's not gonna even put it right outside really come on I just want to put it right here let me move the tractor just in case just in case that's causing an issue Nope. Well, well, let me put it right there. Collides with an object. I don't know what object it could be, but okay, whatever. Okay, fine. Now let me put it right here. So maybe I'll just put it right here. I think the upper area of Ravenport kind of got it right with the undulations and the rolling terrain, things like that. I think they got it right. This one here is this sprayer way off. I'm aiming right here and it's spraying to the left. Oh, there's the paint chip right there. The worn paint. Alright, we're looking clean. We're looking clean. Yes, we are.
This series is going to be all tracked vehicles, unless something I get that I need does not have a tracked option. So all vehicles I use are going to be tracked. I'm not going to have, I mean, I'm probably going to use more challengers than anything else. But that is the idea right now, so. Alright guys, that is going to do it for now. The next video might be on a fresh new start. Maybe I'll catch up to it a little bit and redo it. Don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, new update coming out here soon. Uh, make sure you guys are on Facebook or Twitter. Well, I don't think I put it on Twitter because I don't think they're on Twitter. But Facebook, I will definitely link it over there on Facebook. So uh, be ready for that one. Of course, Sunday nights... Uh, this is a normal stream night. Monday night is a normal stream night as well, but because it's Christmas Eve, there will be no stream. I will be back on Wednesday. Uh, not sure if it's going to be Wreckfest or it's going to be Farm Sim. We'll have to wait and see because of the holiday. That might screw that up. But definitely uh, more of this to come with this map, even after a fresh new profile map start, whatever. We'll still be on here because I'm, I'm enjoying this map. It is a big map. Big map. Beautiful. Big field, 16, 40 plus acres. Big, 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 big. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed If you did, slap that like button. If you didn't, do the opposite. Don't forget to get subscribed here on YouTube. Hit the links down below, not just for the mods list, but also for Taylor Farms. Give them a like over there. Uh, also for uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all that fun stuff. Like, follow, subscribe. Join in on the conversation. You guys know what to do. Until next time, Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys a couple days from now, and take it easy.